Welcome back to GDPG. Hi, everybody. Doing some pancho. We're uh, getting ready to uh, I don't, watch. I, I am really off to a great start. Great start. So we'll see how uh, game design uh, this episode is. It, you know, it's really dependent on just how much progress you're able to make. Now, you've been through this before, right? Have you ever beaten this level? Uh, no, because okay. the next part fucking killed me. So, okay, that's... Although, I've never made I'm it that fast say. through that. Really? Okay, well, I mean, I already made you suffer, suffer off-camera with some of the other platforms, so... Yeah, but dude, no, we've, that we've was been trained scary. for this moment. I don't know how that happened. That... I'm with this Maybe your back. gaming skill is leveled up. You know, you're gonna say that now, and then the next part's gonna come, and you'll be like, oh no, he's a moron. I think most gamers at some point in their life, and probably just people in general, have gone through a phase where, like, they're just absolutely terrible at something, and then all of a sudden, they're just, like, suddenly really good at it. It means you leveled up. You had a real-life level-up moment. It happens sometimes. Hey, not every so often. Yes, yes I, I am the old... I am an old one. Humans can be metal. <laughs> yeah, they think they're humans. Silly robot. Oh, shit, I have to do this one fast. I totally forgot. This one's do a it. timer. Do it. What do you oh. mean it's a timer? You'll see what I mean. Why am I stuck? What is happening? Or collision bounds? Error. No, you will robot see what's going to happen. Grand your error. That will go away eventually, and I need it to go away. Crap. Oh, you're talking about that, the plat, the, 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 the blue, the blue, yeah. blue one? Yeah. Is it time? It moves back eventually. Are you sure? It's supposed to. Oh, am I, I stuck? I don't think I it is. Drop? I go, go, um, in, up, forward, uh, back. I don't know, man. It's so hard to figure out the right turn. Oh, you, you want me to actually, like, zoom back in? Yeah, there you go. See, look, it goes oh, back, see? okay, yeah, you're right. Yeah, because I remember it's, it's kind of timed. I mean, like, clearly it's not a super big time. Yeah, I mean, this is another really good example, though. I know we talked about this, what, two episodes ago? About mm -hmm. how, like, these things can just kind of keep you sitting and waiting. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I'm stuck at, at the moment. I literally cannot do anything. Except look at my cute little poncho. It's true. Yeah, I, I'm really not a fan of games that... Well, it just makes break up the pacing like Yeah, that. and it makes me feel like clearly I failed. And now <laughs> and here's now my you have to punishment. Dwell on, yeah, yeah, I did dwell on how poorly I just did there. Yeah, and and to be honest, generally whenever I'm checking oh out it Oh my god, I hate when I do that shit. Oh. Okay, that actually that was important to note what mm -hmm. just happened there. Um that platform moved back not because of time, but because you actually regressed in. Oh, so maybe I think you hit, you hit a tr hidden trigger zone, and oh. that caused it to go back. Now it might still have a timer, right? But, but because you're still jump, I mean, because I probably just assume with all the jumps I was doing. Yeah. Mm. So that I think that is at least a step in the right direction of solving yes. exactly what I was just whining about. Um, I think the only way, to, or not the only way, but I think something that they could have done to present that better is to have a visual representation yes. of that. Some sort of like, I don't know, you walk through a, a, a scanner or something and, you know, that way you know that going through this little trigger zone is also causing this platform to go back. So, you know, as a player, maybe if, if you assumed that it was going to rely on a time system, then you might not even try going down there. You might just, like, mm, sit there and wait. That's a, that's a very good point. Oh, there you go. Yep, and then you're supposed to be able to, right, go up, and then you're supposed to go up. Nice. Oh, I remember, oh, God. Well, this uh, isn't going to move. This is not the moving part, but... But you got to jump up and go in there. Yeah. Nope. I think you're doing all right. You're so worried. Well, dude, no, we're not too... Uh, okay, literally, when I played this last time, I was stuck here for friggin' 20 minutes. Well, here's here's your platform to the left. Know, you can kind of see it through the layers. It. I just want to do it. <laughs> but that's really what this comes down to. I remember... Yeah, if I remember this, this correctly, part, too, it's this is one of those ones that when you fail, you lose a lot of progress. You, you dude, you absolutely... Oh, shit. I, oh, no, wait. Oh, there you go. Oh, I'm missing and now it's gonna gems. go. It's gonna go in. It's gonna go. Oh, should it go out? 
yeah, farther. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's one good way of kind of like working around these moving platforms is at least when it's flashing, they all seem to kind of... I don't know what to do next. Um, I think it's supposed to... Yeah. Uh, uh, Why well, just fall? That, that's, that's the thing that just happened. Obey my orders, machine. So you think the robots don't even realize that they're robots? I don't think they realize the robots. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh, yeah, gem while I'm going well. this way. Although this totem pole robot. Ah, uh, no, I need to. Go, I do need to come back up this way because I have to somehow get up to like these areas. Okay, so maybe when you're on that upper platform, I you're just gonna jump, jump back to the down. right. Yeah, I think that's all it is. Yeah, we'll I'm see. I'm actually if... kind of still shocked by the fact that I whoop, almost didn't do it. I hit the wrong bumper. But that's, so what you're doing is actually kind of like the best method of, of... I, I do that too much, I hit the wrong bumper. Oh, we which can is go to the keyboard if you... If no, you... it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> this is, this is the part of learning, you know? It's like, it's like we're all playing this game for the first time. <laughs> okay, alright, that's, that's fun. But oh, what I keep trying to say is, I think the way that you're working around these platforms oh, is mostly, like, good strategy, in that whenever it starts doing that flashing, like, oh, I'm gonna move soon, you can actually jump and have just enough air time to actually see which direction it moves. Yes. Now, if there's a platform above you, it makes it really hard. But, like, that right there, that was exactly, like, that's the easiest way to work around yep, this. Yep, that's all I do. Um, it's just, it's sometimes is hard to if, actually if you If off. your reaction goes the wrong way, though. Mm-hmm. Now, you can kind of tell which direction they're going to go based on the color inside the, the little cube squares. Um, but, like... Colors don't really do it for me. Like, I see it, and I'm like, I still don't understand which direction it's going to go. I could take the time to memorize it, but I have such a hard time seeing color. I've seen colors. It is. That it's like, well, is it really worth well, it? and I'm stuck here. <laughs> Just for a second. So let's look at the beautiful scenery of this <laughs> rolling totem bot. I think they have a lot of fun with the robots that they create. Oh, dude, um, if I if I worked on the art in this game, I would have had a feel. No, I'm glad that they did. You know, they, they made some very interesting kind of jump. I think, you're, I think you can, yeah. Go ahead and do it. Do the thing. Gotta hurry though. Yeah, jump to the right. Well, and oh, shh. yeah, I know exactly what you're about to say. <laughs> yeah, now it's too late. Well, no, I'm just gonna have to redo it. This, this. Yeah. So great that I haven't like failed by falling. I've just failed by. They they are pretty subtle too when they give you those hints. At least it was on screen. You could see that platform. Yeah. If, I... if you couldn't see that, I would have said that that's actually poor level design because player needs at least a little bit of guidance, right? Um, but you could see it from the, the corner of that upper area, right? It's just, since it's in the, like, uh, I don't know if foreground's the right word, but, like, in... Yeah, I think I, the, for, the, the foreground, foreground is absolutely the right word. Um, the player may not even register as that as a, a potential platform sometimes, especially when it's so subtle like that. I'm gonna wait for this thing to come up. I don't care. I might take my time right now. Well, that's the thing. If you try to rush in this game, I feel like you tend to die faster. Um, which maybe that's an intentional point in the design, you know? <laughs> well, at least now if you die, you're going to return here. Yeah. You got to no. just like not fall and hit another platform. Okay, yeah, so right. this is one thing I think the game would have really, really benefited from is having a, a threshold of like, if you fall, I guess that was just it. So, okay, then let's talk about that. If you fall too far or... Oh, my God. If, if you fall too far, then it'll it'll read you as, like, um, you know, as instant death even before you hit the ground. And right. It'll at least cause you to checkpoint back up there. Um, right now, it's okay. I think there are a lot of points in this game, though, where it's, that yeah, it's threshold really isn't high enough. Um, where, you know, you'll be, like say like two-thirds of the way up this platform and you'll still start at the very bottom. I did you just do it? get here this last time. Yeah, buddy. You're not done with the level yet, but... What in the world? Stand, stand, go ahead and stand in there. And uh, hit that X button. Whoa, that was cool. Yeah, so this is this is something new that they're going to start introducing. So now I can just go backwards, it yep. looks like. So it's a kind of like a warp mechanic. 
ultimately it doesn't do very oh, much oh, other than so they're like, just introducing it i yes. see i was expecting the more level no i think had they done more with it at this in this level that would have been unfair to the player because i'm a that's little just a sh- lot. i'm a little shocked and a little disappointed in myself for not feeling so much i thought this was gonna be a big <laughs> fail moment for me well i'm proud of you geek Aries. i you am did good again so you did well i did well i, I, I done did good you did it, did now, it buddy here's the thing I don't know what the rest of this game is. This whole I, world. I, Here's the thing. If you can play through this whole game without me helping you, I will be very happy. And I think you're you're going to get to that point, too. This I level, think so. This level is very different from the Dude. last level, where you, I don't think you're going to be dealing with... I want to double jump so way. bad just so I can get up there. Like, I just... Yeah, I honestly don't remember if there is a double jump to this I'm, game. I'm just noticing. I'm just double checking on Now, why is this here? Is this... Will this take me back? Well, you can even see where it's going to take you. Yeah, it takes me all the way over there. Wow. Oh, there's a shop guy there, too. Oh, where's the shop? Oh, right there. Oh, but I can't get there. Hold on. So oh, it. it basically allows you to traverse larger gaps. Yes. Yeah, so I space. have to figure out how I'm seeing shop guy. Oh, there we go. Well, that's... Nope. Uh, oh, I still have to. I will go. Well, anyway, tell you what. This is the end of yeah. this episode. No, we... we, so we, we uh, uh, We'll get to explore the the caves. I, yeah, caverns. The, ca- the caverns, whatever you want to call them. Yeah. Uh, question of the day. Hold on. Play Patty Cake with me really quick. Bam. I don't have a question yet. I think it's fast forward through all of this. Do you have a question yet? <laughs> I'm just too focused. Ah. Okay, so question of the day. Um, after much deliberation. Much deliberation. Uh, patty caking. So we've we've been talking a lot about timing in this in this game in this playthrough so far, and uh, talking about how you know there's a lot of waiting that can happen just based on the level design or or waiting for platforms to kind of move around. So the question is, what would you do to fix that? Yeah. Do you think that it's a problem? And if if you do, how do you think it would be? A, how do you fix that problem? Yeah, how, how would you, as a level designer, fix that problem? Yeah, that's a great question. Cool. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching, and stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs> noodle noodle. Although I can't noodle as well as Nathan noodles. It's better than Kuja's. Okay. <laughs> or... <laughs> 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 <laughs>